Yeah, and that's an identity we are going to use extensively. Good morning, fellow mathematicians. Welcome back to another video. This task right here might seem trivial to most people, but I just want to make a separate video on that because it's quite useful as most videos here on this channel and we need to use it in further videos. So keep this identity in mind, we are going to dive right in. What we want to find out is just the differential of the inverse tension of x on a certain interval in the normal case. Let's just not talk about intervals. Let's just solve for this right here. How can we do that exactly? Well, I would like to put this to the side for a second and I would like to just take a look at the function y of x being equal to, well, the tangent of x. We can define it like that. And well, now we can just use the inverse tangent on both sides because tangent of inverse tangent is just our argument x and the inverse tangent of y is just the inverse tangent of y. So let's put it that way. And well, differentiating this thing right here is a perfect job for implicit differentiation in this case. English is a hard language. I'm terribly sorry for my bad English. So, what we would like to do, we would just like to differentiate that and solve for x in the end. So that's what we want to do basically, because our x is our inverse tension. I hope you can see where this comes from. So why not differentiate this thing right here with respect to x on both sides? So what we want to do, we want to find d dx of y being equal to tangent of x. Well, on the left hand side, we are going to end up with, oh, uh, that's an equal sign right here, dy dx. And this is now equal to d dx of tangent of x. And well, you can just turn this into sine times the cosine to the negative one, so one over cosine, and then differentiate it using the product rule or quotient rule. I really don't care. Anyways, you are going to end up with the secant squared of x times the derivative of the argument in here. It might seem trivial, but don't forget that dx differentiated with respect to x. But what exactly is the secant squared? Secant squared is 1 plus tangent squared by uh, Euler's formula, Euler's identity. Um, no, fundamental theorem of trigonometry. I'm terribly sorry, I'm stupid. So we end up with 1 plus tangent squared of x times dx over dx. But don't forget, tangent squared is nothing but tangent, but the whole thing squared, but what is our tangent? Tangent is nothing but y. So we can turn this right here into 1 plus y squared times dx over dx. And now we can just divide both sides by this thing right here. We don't want it to be equal to 0. So that means we end up with 1 over 1 plus y squared dy dx being equal to d dx of x. I have left it here because you know what x is exactly. x is nothing but our inverse tension of y. And then we are done. We have found out the derivative of our inverse tension with some function right here. f of x, y of x. Yeah, and that's an identity we are going to use extensively. soon <laughs> and yeah i thank you guys for watching if you did enjoy this video please like and subscribe and recommend me if you like if you want to support me a bit more link to my patreon is in the description if you want to get this t-shirt right here this infinity boy link to my merchandise store from teespring is also in the description and up until the next video have a flammable day see ya